Confluence is an awesome tool for creating great content, like really good content, the kind of content that's so good that your teammates will wanna reuse it across different spaces and pages in Confluence. And while it may be tempting to copy and paste that content onto different pages, I've gotta warn you, don't. See, the best content is created by an entire team. And just like a good team, content changes over time. It gets better, it's updated to be more current and useful. And let me tell you, content that's been copied into multiple different places across Confluence can sometimes be impossible to track down and update. And this leads to mistakes, wasted time, and just straight up frustration from everybody on the team. But have no fear, we're using Confluence, which means we can do really cool stuff with our content that we just couldn't do if we were using just a document or something. Hi, I'm Matt with K15T, and I'm gonna show you how to use a single piece of content throughout Confluence without the fear of it getting outdated over time. This is content reuse, and it's magical. Content reuse is all about strategically creating really great pieces of content that you can put anywhere. It's a really awesome concept, so let's start with the small stuff. If somebody asked you to sum up the content of one of your Confluence pages in a sentence or two, you could do that, right? Well, why not just do that once, right on the page, and then never have to do it again? Let me show you how powerful this can be. As an example, our teammates have had a lot of questions lately about where can I work, what are my benefits, is it safe to travel, and our operations team has done a really good job keeping our internal guides and policies up to date. To help folks navigate really quickly to the information they need, there are links to all the major topics right on an overview page. And to help skimming through all the content, you can see there's descriptions of each one. Now, of course, there are lots of subtopics in each topic. So again, you can skim through the descriptions and find the one you're looking for. So just using these short descriptions of pages, I've quickly moved to the page with the information that I really need. This is content reuse, and it's magical. If we jump into edit mode on this page, you can see the excerpt macro in action. You're allowed to put one of these on each page, and you can use them to define a reusable piece of content within the whole content of the page. Whatever content you want to be reusable, you just put in the body of this macro. In most cases, we recommend putting the macro at the top of the page and using it to describe the contents of the page. It's something we often do with pages anyway. Using this macro consistently across all your pages will enable you to do amazing things like I just showed you. Remember how the operations page had links to all the pages in the section along with short descriptions? This list of links and descriptions was generated dynamically using the children display macro. In this macro, I've set it up so that all the links show up as heading level one, because I think they're just nice and clickable that way. And then I set it to display the text from the excerpt of each page. This is amazing! There may also be a case where you want to include the excerpt of just one page somewhere. You can use the excerpt include macro for that. Now, by default, this macro displays a border around the reused content. And since content reuse typically is best when people don't really know that it's happening, we recommend that you remove this panel. There are lots of other great apps and macros you can use to take advantage of those page excerpts, so have fun trying those out. So you might be thinking, okay, that's cool for small descriptions, but what do I do with larger pieces of reusable content? Or what if I wanna reuse multiple pieces of content on a single page? Well, to do that, we can use page inclusions. Let's say that you have a piece of content that you wanna reuse on a bunch of different pages. Like, for example, maybe you're in a legal team and you wanna make sure that your proper legal terms are in place in your sales proposals, product documentation, marketing materials, all that stuff you're collaborating together on in Confluence. Now, it's important that the right terms are in place throughout all of that content and that it can be updated really, really quickly. To do this, we'll first create a new page that has our legal terms right on it. Now, you could put any kind of content in this page. So you could have text or images or macros or any mix of those, really whatever you want. Okay, so now I'm on a page where the team is planning some content that should be part of some upcoming marketing materials that we're making. My legal term senses are tingling. There should be some legal terms here. I'm gonna add the include page macro right in the spot in the content where the legal terms should be. Just have to start typing the name of the page. I'll insert that and check it out. Here is the content of our legal terms. And now I can see that the marketing content that was already on the page and the legal terms are just here. At any point, I can jump back to the legal terms page, update the content and hit save, and it's automatically updated here and here 
and here, and here. Any place where I included that content, it is updated automatically. This is content reuse, and it's magical. Now, you might be thinking, okay, that's cool if I wanna reuse one piece of content, but what if I wanna have a bunch of pieces of content that are text and images and videos? How do I organize all of that stuff so I can reuse it easily? Well, to do that, we can create a library of all of your reusable content. Content reuse in Confluence is awesome, but just like with every other page in Confluence, you need to keep your reusable content pages organized. And to do this, we can create an inclusions library. Now, it's called an inclusion library because it's a library of content that you can include in your other content. And also because inclusion is just awesome. Now, inclusion libraries aren't like a feature in Confluence per se, it's more of a concept. Really, it just involves having a place where your team can organize all of your reusable content pages. For some teams, a section within the space where they wanna reuse their content is the perfect spot for their inclusions library. But for others, they might need a totally separate space full of pages with reusable content. This is especially a good idea if you plan to reuse your content across multiple spaces in Confluence. Like, for example, if you're reusing your legal terms. Whether your inclusion library is just a small piece of a space or an entire space, really you're building a useful page tree. So you can use all the same tips and tricks you've found for organizing them in Confluence. Here are some things that we think you should really keep in mind. First off, start every page title with an underscore. This is important because Confluence Search doesn't really know that these pages just have reusable content on them. And if people search for a page with a particular word, these pages might come up. So Use underscores at the beginning of the pages and that will make those reusable pages drop all the way to the bottom of the search results. This helps promote the actual pages that people are looking for. Next, we recommend creating a parent-child hierarchy structure in here. This is really handy because it can help you organize by the type of content that you're reusing, like text or an image or a video. Also, don't go too crazy with that hierarchy to make navigation relatively simple. Finally, give each reusable page a descriptive name so that people reusing that content know what it's about. But don't make it too long because they'll only be able to see about 30 characters when they use that page include macro. So make those words count. With your inclusions library set up, it becomes easier for people to find and include your reusable content. And it becomes way faster to update pieces of content like images because you change it on just one page in the library and it's updated everywhere it's been reused instantly. This is content reuse and it's magical. So I hope you're ready to leave copying and pasting behind and get your team reusing your great content all throughout Confluence. At K15T, we found these tools and techniques have been a game changer for our content. From internal projects to external documentation, we are seamlessly reusing content all over the place to keep it fresh and up to date. This is content reuse and it's magical. But that's just how we're reusing content. How is your team reusing content in Confluence and what tools do you use to do that? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, this is just one of the many ways you can use Confluence. And at K15T, there's lots more content we'd like to include. So hit that subscribe button, share this video with another team who wants to reuse their great content, and join us for another video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.